Hello everybody, I'm off on a little exploration trip. Center near here. I've never actually gone to before. So I am off to check it out. So it's only a couple blocks away. So I'm heading that way to see what it's all about. So that's what I'm up to. Hopefully, I'll pop in and out with some little clips. It's uh, 7 30 right now. So yeah, I'm trying to think if I have anything to talk about so far. It's been a very lazy day, relaxing as always. Um, it's not easy to motivate myself to get moving. So um, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Well, I'm here so far. It's very unexciting. Well, two floors. And it's very small, very small. I recovered the one, but somewhere in here there's supposed to be some sort of Star Wars exhibit. So I'm looking for that. Found it. This is very little, very small little exhibits on the on the second floor. Um, ooh, a bunch of bounty hunters and Leia and. Darth Vader in the middle there. Cameras want to focus. And then Imperial Guard. And over here we got a little carousel and a British phone booth with a Spanish phone inside. Functional, I suppose. So I'm gonna walk back through the area I just passed through after seeing it all and put you guys in on it a little bit. And then right back home probably. Very quick little outing. Took me about 10 minutes to walk. Same as walking to church, same as walking to Burger King, same as riding Tenmi to America. Really either direction. Up to the up bus metro, line four to there, or the other bus all the way to it. But um pretty interesting. So yeah. Over here we got Yoda and Yoda and Yoda and Yoda and Yoda and Yoda. A whole lot of Yoda. <laughs> I wonder if that's life size because it looks like it could be. And then a bunch of clone trooper helmets and clone troopers surrounding Yoda. And Luke with his X Wing helmet as well. And now over to the last two. No, three. There are three more. Little boxes, little things. C3PO, Han Solo, Chewie. R2, Boba Fett, Luke, Lando, Chewie carrying for video in pieces, Han and Luke in his excellent gear. Um, over here we've got Boba Fett, Freepio, R2, bunch of Imperials, uh, Silver, Darth Vader, Darth Vader fighting Luke as Sand Trooper, and the last one, Boba Fett and Vader. To 3PO and a big add at AT AT. And that's it. That's all there is. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Back to the escalator and down I go. I have one other idea I might go do. Oh, no, there's one more actually downstairs. How did I not see that before? Another British telephone booth over there. Um, and. Last display on my way out. We got a Wampa, a bunch of hot related things. And holy crap, it was right in front of me when I came in, and I just need, I don't know how I didn't recognize that as the Millennium Falcon. It's like a cross section of the Millennium Falcon. Right here. Pretty cool. Um, in the trash compactor. <laughs> oh, it's it's the Death Star scene. Obi-Wan's fighting Vader over there. 
and then a whole bunch of other things. Yeah. We got Vader. Vader without his helmet. That's a little figurines. It's basically all his R2. Rupio. Yeah. And then a bunch of Disney related ones over there. And then the last one, just Mickey and Minnie in Star Wars gear. Which I can see at Disney anytime. <laughs> I think that was it, yeah, that was it. All right, back outside. And, yeah. So I'm trying to decide if I want to go check out um, if I want to go check out Campo de Naciones, which is at the end of line, one oh, bus 122. Um, I'm gonna walk down this direction and see if that leads me around. Right I am now at Campo de Naciones, the park of the nations, basically. And there's not a lot to see up here. I'm right with the metro, it's got three entrances and something made me think that maybe the metro had a lot of uh, but other than that's just a bunch of buildings there's a line of flags in front of one of the buildings over here um, and right there behind me as well there's also a bug on my glasses would not get off so yeah um so where am I exactly right now park uh, Juan Carlos Alright, so I'm in this general area. Um, roughly. No, more like over here, yeah. Yeah, right here where the metro stop is. And I live over here. So. Um, I decided to just do it. You know, whatever. I don't know how long the bus is going to sit there, if I can get back on it or not. Ride it back or wait for the next one. I'm gonna wander around a little bit. I might jump the line, the metro line. Although, um, and I think that was my plan originally. Even though that goes right back by where I live. Um, I'm gonna walk around a little bit in this area first. Um, the reason I wanna take 122 is it goes back past the Palacio de, de Hielo, the Ice Palace. It's a shopping center and ice skating rink. And maybe I'll go there at some point. If I want to. <laughs> right now though, I'm just going to walk on down that main street. And on back up probably. And then maybe go underground and decide what I'm going to do after that. Until you later. España, Madrid. Translation, the capital of Spain, Madrid. And I'm trying to... Across the street. I'm trying to go and show you something that I saw on the way in. That um, I don't have a good angle at right now. It was not what I was expecting at all. Um... The flags that I saw weren't, weren't nation flags or anything like that. It's just a bunch of different colors of the same Madrid whatever flag. There's this giant head here. See if you can see him. He's just sticking out of this giant plaque, basically. We get a little more in the front. Zoom in on them once I get there. This little area, though, very wide open, just outside the city. It's bus 112, and oh, it's a good angle here. I have no idea who this person is. I'm not seeing any signs indicating who it is or anything like that. Um, but here we go. 
the security building right behind it with other strange buildings as well. There it is. So yeah, I don't want to walk all the way back up there if I don't have to. I'll bypass going in, I'll see if this is the bus 122 or not and wait for it. It'll be the same bus that I took in the way in, which wasn't crazy about because the bus driver was a little bit wild. I got that quick English. Walk over and go in there. The train right here, above ground. So second day is supposed to be here. Oh we're in a big one of the two. It's windy so I'm gonna go now. Hey guys, I'm going to call it a night. Um, so yeah, it was a little two hour excursion, got back about an hour ago, but it's been watching videos and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, turn this keyboard on and click that X there. Alright, so yeah, I am going to not go to sleep yet, but get this thing processing like usual. Um, I got my camera propped up against my iPad, so I think it's pointed at me pretty good. I'll have to check, I might have to refilm this. <laughs> um, I think it's pointed at me, it looks like it is. So yeah, um, after I've been watching more and more vlogs with, with what was that? with people using the vlog sticks, the um, monopods that extend you out more easily and so hold your hand out in a weird way. Um, I find myself more and more ready to do that. Also, um, one of the vloggers I've been watching has recently, or has just now, switched from doing daily vlogs to weekly vlogs. Um, and the way he did it makes me think that it might not be too bad of a way to go. I want to keep vlogging, but I want to do other things also once I get back and, and come up with the means to do it. Um, so, I may switch to weekly vlogs instead of daily vlogs. I could see that being feasible, considering my days would probably be not very exciting. Not that most of the days I do with this place isn't isn't all that exciting either. It's just I do come up with uh, things to fill the time with. Sometimes it winds up being really long, unpredictable. So I'd rather keep it on a day to day basis. But um, if I switch if I switch to a weekly vlog when I get back, um, it's likely that I would then if anything if I did anything special, I would. Um, Make it make you aware on the weekly vlog, on the vlog, um, and I would still film vlog parts and and label each day as though it was all these things that I could do once I have some good um, editing software. Let me close the window now. It's ten thirty. Um, once I have good editing software, I could do something like that. So, maybe, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably do it, I'll try vlogging for at least a week and when I get back um, every day and see how that goes. And if I decide to switch, I may switch. I'll have to figure out the Wii U and the Mario Kart um, and see how easy, <clears throat> how easy it is to post videos from there. Because um, it sounds like it would be easier to do that um, than it would to use a capture card. In which case, the option for me would be upload the video directly, re download it <laughs> from YouTube, and then add whatever audio, whatever I wanted to add to it after the fact. Sounds like it would be easier than using a capture card. Um, plus, I'd have to pay for a capture card. But if I can't figure it out, I'll get a capture card, among other things. Um, but yeah, I think the vlog stick, giving it, it puts the camera a little bit further away from me and also I wouldn't have to hold up my arm and get tired and lower it to where you see in the bottom of my chin half the time. 
looking almost up at the sky. <laughs> that wouldn't be happening with a blog stick. So, so yeah. Again, I hope this thing's pointed at me this whole time, because otherwise I just did a lot of talking for nothing. I'll have to reshoot this. So, yeah. Come up with something to say. It was a nice little excursion today. So, yeah. And I stopped by Burger King for dinner before I came home. So, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, do 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 Back to work tomorrow. Second to last week, um, eight more days of work, and 18 more days till I get home, um, including week, that includes three day weekends and the final week, but yeah, good night everyone, I'll see you tomorrow, bye.